What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Will at Heroic Studios here, and I'm here to tell you about the most impressive printer that I have to date. No offense to the rest of you guys, all right? I'm talking about the Artillery X3 Plus. Now, I just got the thing a few weeks ago. I just barely put it together, like maybe a week ago. And as I was doing that, Artillery decided to come out with the X4 Pro and the X4 4 Plus. Now, those are a bit more expensive than what I got this for. This one retailed for about $259. If you're looking to upgrade to the X4 series, you're gonna be spending close to about $500. The only difference between the X3 and the X4 is that the X4 comes with slightly more bells and whistles and it pops out at a 500 millimeter per second speed. This one does about 300 millimeters per, per second. 300 millimeters per second speed. So this thing is just as fast, it does what it needs to do, and it doesn't have to break the bank in order for you guys to get your hands on it. So now I'm gonna go through everything that this thing can do because it comes with a lot of new features as well as knocking out some prints so you guys can see how this thing works. It's really cool, I love it. Artillery was my first printer with the X1 and now I've come back home with the X3. So let me show you what this thing can do. Artillery is actually a really good 3D printing company and they specialize mostly in direct drive printers. I love direct drive printers. It gives you the opportunity to do a lot more with specialty filaments like carbon fiber and wood. So when I was shopping around for a new printer, I wanted to get something that I was familiar with. The X3 comes with a large build volume of 300 by 300 by 400, comparable to the Artillery Sidewinder X1. This one also comes with an auto wiping filament system where it actually wipes the nozzle before it starts its print. Something new, something innovative, and I kind of like it. It comes with a 4.3 inch full color touchscreen that you can pick up and hold in your hands. It doesn't have to stay on the console itself. You can detach it. Uh, print speed is 300 millimeters a second, pretty fast. It is not Anchor Make fast or LED Neptune 4 fast, but 300 millimeters a second for these large scale printers is just good enough for me. I can appreciate a nice clean print and it's quiet when it does it. Magnetic PEI plate, I see this is becoming a standard with more printers that are coming out. You just pick up the PEI plate, flex it, and the prints come right off. Or you can just let the build plate cool and the prints just kind of come off effortlessly. Direct drive dual gear extruder. I love this thing. It, it is actually a very powerful extruder. And like I said, this is perfect for those specialty filaments like carbon fiber, wood, glow in the dark, stuff like that. And it also has a 49 point auto bed level. Now I like direct drive because it's actually pretty neat. I love how you can just use whatever kind of hard filament like marble or granite or whatever, and it just does it. Bowden tubes are not the go-to printers for that, so I really do appreciate a good direct drive extruder, and this one being a dual gear really does get the job done. And so, really happy with this setup here, and so I'm going to go ahead and start getting some things printed and made to show you guys what this thing can really do. So in another area where this thing kind of takes the cake for me is how fast it takes for it to actually heat up. This is a real time shot of my stopwatch on my phone versus the actual temperature rising on the printer as I'm preheating the nozzle. This thing went from zero to 100 miles per hour when it came to heating and I was actually super surprised that it has that kind of quick heating capabilities. Now it took a little bit longer for it to actually reach 2000 because of the equalization of the temperatures um, but it takes about a full minute for this in printer to actually heat up to me that's awesome I know bamboo and some other printers out there take less time but for me this was actually a big surprise when it came to this printer doing what it does and now it's time for everyone's favorite print the Benchy let's see how fast this thing got it done so here's the Benchy, all nice and done. Took about 35 minutes to get done. And uh, the quality on this thing is really good. This thing was zipping in and just going all over the place. So um, I'm about to have fun 
with this thing here. So, first Benchy, because everyone prints Benchy before they print anything else. So, let's see what else this thing has to offer. The next thing I printed was the Sword of Omens, which was designed by me and is available over on my Patreon as a part of March 2024 rewards. Okay, so this happened just as I thought. The blades in the back fell over, so I got a little spaghettiness going on here. But the main part that I wanted was the hilt of this sword, and it looks really good to say the least. Pommel looks okay. Pommel looks great actually. And the hilt, which looks like wasn't really finished, feels like it's a great, great kind of deal here. So, like I said, I really wanted this. So let's take this off and let's check it out. So it's are easy to remove, no big. This thing looks really good for what it is. Smooth to the touch. Doesn't look like it's gonna take a lot of sanding, kind of sand it down, but that quality though. This is at a 0.2 layer height. Nothing really over the top or anything like that, but yep, this thing looks great. It looks fantastic. Let's use it close. It's gonna have to redo the blades, but that's just easy. And we have our main blade fits in there just like that, and it looks pretty decent. Not bad. So here are the blades that are redid for the Sword of Omens. These look better. I literally had to add a rasp to the build plate in order for it to work, which, which it's supposed to do. Now when I slice this, it said it was going to take about 22 hours to do. This only took about 14 hours here. So, not really sure, really, really off with the slicing, but eh, I'm happy with how this came out. So, not too bad with the way this looks. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what else I can make with this thing. Not a bad job. This next print came as a test print with the printer. It is actually a collapsible katana. And it took about 13 hours for this thing to make and it looks great. Alright, so this thing took about 13 hours to print. And it's one of those collapsible swords. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's cool. I like how it feels. Okay. Quality looks good. Smooth to the touch. Everything looks really good. 13 hours to print. All right. Let's do something a bit more elaborate. Mm -hmm. Last but not least is my yellow Omega Ranger bus, which is also a part of March 2024 rewards over on my Patreon. All right. So here is my yellow Omega Ranger bus. Just came off of the new artillery and it looks good. Nice and smooth surface. You got the texture and the suit coming through. You got the texture and the suit coming through. Awesome detail. Some of the supports are still on there, but that's cool. Helmet looks okay. This thing did it in about four hours, so not bad. This thing, this thing really gets around. Really, it really does. Love it. Um, some discoloration underneath the probably where the support fell off underneath the chin, but you don't really notice it because it's standing upright and the chin is kind of tilted downward. So, I mean, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm really in love with this printer. Artillery has always been my go-to. Well, it should have been always my go-to, but, you know, you've got me back, Artillery. You've got me back. Awesome. Looks great. That's gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far in the video, please like and subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are on Artillery 3D. Now, I know it's not one of the big three. It's not a Creality. It's not an Elevu. It's not a any cubic. but I like branching out to other ones, other kind of 3D printing companies, just to see what's out there. You know, I got my longer here. It still works great, but my Chiron over here is having some issues. So. You know, maybe branch out, maybe this video helps you make a decision on getting a printer. If you're looking to get something outside of the big three companies that are out there, go for it. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave your comments uh, in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. As always, special shout out to my Patreon. If you guys are interested in any of the models that I printed here today, check out my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Will out of Hope Studios. Everything is there for you until the end of the month. And I got some pretty neat surprises 
for Mar uh, for April. So uh, if you want to get in on those uh, this month's rewards and be ready for next month's rewards, go ahead and jump on board, subscribe. It really does help the channel. And if you guys aren't looking for subscribing to Patreon or anything like that, you know, check me out on Etsy, check me out on things. Links are in the description. You can go ahead and buy individual SEL that I've done over there as well. Again, help support the channel and I do appreciate it. Thank you in advance. Until next time, folks, I will catch you guys later. Um, and one last thing before I go, I do have a Facebook group where a lot of people who are part of the Patreon can go and hang out. But if you are not a paid member of the Patreon, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and check us out. We're in there having fun with expressing uh, prints that we've done, exchanging ideas and stuff like that. So go ahead, check it out. It's free for anybody to jump on board. Of course, it's free. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Catch you later.